Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this was a short video uh, that I wanted to do to show you how we uh, manage UAV data sets and, and larger data sets, uh, just kind of from a, from a file management perspective. So, on the survey side, when you get into some of the larger data sets, like uh, with a UAV or with a with a laser scanner. Uh, those, those data sets get really big. And so that, that presents some IT challenges and you got to kind of think through how you're going to handle it. So uh, that, that, that's become even more true uh, because uh, since COVID-19, uh, you know, a lot of companies now are got folks working from home and uh, we're actually set up here at Refine Horizons to support 100% remote work. So uh, we actually have one CAD tech that's 100% work from home. And uh, so she she needs to be able to get to all of our files uh, from home over an internet connection, and uh, and so we're set up like that. So we don't we don't have a traditional physical uh, network server like a lot of companies uh, do. Uh, we're 100 percent on the cloud, so uh, we we use Microsoft OneDrive, and uh, all of our I shouldn't say all almost all of our project files are on the cloud, and uh, all of our employees can get to those at any at any point in time. Uh, when they need to, uh, wherever they have an internet connection. So, uh, the one exception to that rule is, is we try really hard not to keep large data sets on the, on the cloud. Uh, and there's, there's kind of two main reasons for that. One is, um, it, even if you have good computers, so we, we buy, you know, $2,500 CAD workstations, even if you have a good expensive computer and a really fast internet connection, so I've got Comcast Business Internet, um, it, it's still really slow uh, to work with those big files. It's really clunky. And so uh, so you want to keep them on your local drive. Things are just going to go a lot faster. So that, that's the first reason. The second reason is uh, you don't want to fill up the hard drives of your non-technical uh, folks that are, that are sharing that cloud drive. So, you know, we've got marketing folks and business administrative folks and uh, you know some folks that that don't need to do technical work with uh, with point cloud data or with UEV data and uh, you know they they most of the you know if we're hiring a marketing person or a business admin person they don't necessarily need a three thousand dollar machine right so uh, they may have a small they may only have a 200 gigabyte hard drive whereas our our technical people might have a terabyte or two terabytes so the problem is if you if you just host all those data sets in uh, in OneDrive, uh, then then everybody gets that data on their computer, and that's that's not what you want. So just to show you real quick how we how we have this uh, set up on OneDrive uh, under our Redefined Horizons folder, you go into Jobs. We've got an active and an archive. You go into Active. Here's all our active jobs, and you know you go in here and you get whatever you need for the job, right? Okay, but the we have a place placeholder folder here called UAV, but th there shouldn't be anything in there. Just a placeholder because for us, UAV's data sets are one of the bigger data sets we work with. And so what we do is we, we mirror this jobs active, we mirror this path onto the local drive of our technical users. So let me show you that. And we're all on Windows machines. So uh, we keep those on C, and then everybody that's a technical user on their C drive, they have this folder called local, and then in local, we mirror the job active job folder. So we have jobs, active, okay, and here's all of our active jobs with a UAV data set. So if the job doesn't have a UAV data set, it doesn't need to go in here, but if it does, then it goes in here, and we try and mirror this name exactly as we have it on the cloud, okay, and then... It's really important that everybody, everybody, all of your technical users, I keep saying everybody, all of your technical users, they need to have this path set up exactly as we have it here. So everybody's path needs to be C local jobs active. And the reason why is we, we XREF our drawing files or the actual GeoTIFF images from a UAV data set or the DSM. Those get XREFed into projects. So they could be in a CAD drawing. They could be, they could be linked in a CAD drawing. They could be uh, linked into QGIS, they could be linked into Virtual Surveyor, some of the different software that we use uh, to work with UAV data. And if if everybody doesn't have the same path here, 
then uh, as depending on what computer you are on when you open that software project, uh, your links are going to be broken, and that's a nightmare. You don't want to do that. So it's very, very important that everybody has this path exactly the same, and we work hard to do that. And then when you go into one of these folders, um, it's very important that this path, this folder structure is also exactly the same, right, on everybody's computer. Okay, and that sounds like a nightmare, but it's it's really not bad for UAV products because typically we do the flight and then we do the initial photogrammetry, and we we produce a DSM and an ortho photo, and then after that, not a lot's happened with those files. You know, those aren't frequently modified files; they're pretty static. And so what we do is, uh, you know, occasionally we'll pass around a USB stick um, that has the new projects, the new UAV projects, and everybody just dumps them into this active jobs folder. And, um, and that's how we share UAV data. And, and that way the, the files are local, they're fast, and uh, we're, not, we're not gumming up the non-CAD users' uh, computers with all that extra data because it's in, it's in OneDrive. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll try and put a link in the video that, ex that uh, link to another video where I kind of explain this folder structure that we use for UAVs. I'm not going to do that here, but it's been, you know, seven, it's been two or three years. I still use the same exact folder structure. It's just we, we came up with this system to, to move our UAV data to all of the local drives, local hard drives of our technical users instead of on the cloud. And that was an important thing that we had to figure out um, at Redefined Horizons because we don't, we don't have an, a local network server. Everybody's, everybody's basically working off the cloud. So I hope that video was helpful and you guys uh, enjoyed it. And uh, it'll, it'll hopefully help some survey folks that are trying to figure out how to work from home right now during the lockdown. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys.